Welcome to this week's Give It A Go guys and today we're playing Two Point Hospital. I've been waiting to play this for a while now. Eventually I'm getting to it. Let's have a lot of fun. So we'll do as the guy says. We'll click on this first hospital and see how we'll get on. I did love the original theme hospital. Oh, that game was so much fun. Bloaty head syndrome. Oh, so many diseases. It was so much fun to play. I'm hoping this is just as good. So we'll control the game with WASD, the mouse keys, the mouse wheel, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, we can do all that. Most games are like this. At last, here we go. Right, first thing to do, put a receptionist. Um, we are normally, you put it right next to the entrance, don't you, reception? Should you put it on the left-hand side of the right? Oh, right in front, maybe. Uh, yeah, we'll stick it on the left for now, I think. Uh, next, we've got to hide an assistant. Uh, gorgeous blonde, preferably. Blue eyes. Could be male or female. Yep. <laughs> no discrimination in this game. Um, we're actually going to see what these abilities are, aren't we? 10% speed. Ooh. Oh, just go for the cheapest one. <laughs> yeah, it's not a way to run a business. Ah, next we need the GP's office. Yeah, this is just like playing Theme Hospital. Just with nice modern graphics. Oh, I'm loving this already. How big is this room going to be? Does it say? No, it does. Oh, 3x3 three three minimum. Um. Do we put it right next to the door? Then they just come from reception straight to the GP's office. Um, that's my thinking anyway. And that'll give us a, what, 4x4? Four four? Yeah, I like it here. Uh, put his desk there and we need a filing cabinet as well, don't we? And then what's it say? Put a green tick, okay? Patients should keep hunches to themselves. Oh, the little voice in the tannery. Oh, the memories just come flooding back. Uh, oh, what have I done wrong here? Uh, leave it where it was. Oh, green tick. Gotta click that, you fool. Or should I put more things in? Yeah, we could get put a bin in for rubbish, fire extinguisher. Plant makes the room prettier. Um, oh, I don't know for now. How, how good have we got to make the rooms? Right, we've got to spend some more cash now. We need a doctor. 10% uh, happy energy drains. Ooh. I don't know. What do you think? Happy or energy? Yeah, energy because he'd work longer then, wouldn't he? Yeah, that's better for the business. Right, the hospital's open. Um, we're going to need some way to sit down, aren't we, from what I remember in the old game. And you normally have, like, um, snack machines, drink machines, bins, fire extinguishers, and other things for them to do as well. Oh, we do need a bench. Right, GP's office. Is that the only thing we can do right now? Oh, man. I want a bloody head machine. And here's Mr. Piggott. He's our first patient in our new hospital. What do you think's wrong with him? It's normally something simple at the start of the game. Oh, I must change that. I put the doctor's desk the wrong way around. What to say? We've diagnosed our first patient. The GP sent you a message at the bottom. Um, we're going to have to build a pharmacy to give him drugs, I guess. Uh, let's get him to wait, I think. It's going to cost, what, 70, 800? Um, we've got plenty of money. Yeah, let's get him to wait. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne, bringing talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. And if you're listening to us from the newly opened hospital, just turn up that volume, because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world-class DJ. Coming up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! <laughs> oh my god, it's hospital radio. Oh, this room ship's a bit weird, isn't it? I was thinking of putting it right behind the reception desk. I could move the desk, couldn't I? 
Oh, so we can't move the desk. We're either going to sell it or move this room first, maybe. Um, oh, what are we going to do? We'll be taken home by staff. Yeah, let's put it in the other corner. We'll make this room bigger as well, I think, at some point. Because that's just a weird shape right now. Ah, uh, how do you spin it round? Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Let's have a look in the settings here. Please tell me how to do this. Controls. Uh, where's it at? Rotating. Mouse direction rotate item. Is it maybe that? Rotate camera. Come on, where's it at? Rotate item. There we go. Clockwise. It's Z or X. Okay. Remember that, guys. Otherwise, I may forget. There we go. That's better. Pharmacy, calling nurse. So let's put the pharmacy back to where it was, and we also need a nurse. So I'll give out the drugs, don't we? Oh, Ooh, that one's got a lot of abilities. Let's have that nurse. Okay, let's fix this pharmacy because I hate the look of that room. It's really bugging my OCD. We need to edit it a little bit and put a new door on. There we go. Right, the pharmacy's working. People are queuing up. I really should put some benches down, shouldn't I? Um, where are the benches? Oh, they're locked. Purple bench. Ooh, what's this? Steam workshop. I have no idea. Let's ignore that for now. Finance tab for your prices you charge. Oh, so you can actually charge more for different treatments. Cool. Uh, patient happiness. Ooh, there's a lot to learn here. Ooh, what have I done? Right, let's go back to the hospital. I keep clicking on things. Oh, I've cured somebody. Fantastic. Stop an announcement. We just cured our very first patient. <laughs> oh, that woman's just mad. Um, yep, so our hospital reputation goes up. We'll attract more patients and make more cash. Make more cash, that's the whole point of hospitals. Well, it is in some countries. Um, we've got to look after expensive machines, so we're going to need a janitor. He normally like waters the plants. What do you... Clears up the sick. I remember when the, the sick goes all over the floor. I'm hoping that's in this game. That was funny. You know, I've been humming that things, so tune to myself one. all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. Or have I? Oh well, more catchy music coming right up. When a machine falls below 50%, Janet's will come and repair it. Cool. Yeah, we're going to need drinks machines and seats. Oh, I'm getting distracted. We're definitely going to need some seats. How do we unlock them seats? There's loads of stuff locked here. I wonder how we unlock all these. Oh, we've discovered a new illness. Clamp? <laughs> uh, patients don't let go. <laughs> it affects selfies and statues. Oh, my God. Oh, we've got a little challenge thing. Keeping people happy place. Two benches, a leaflet stand, drinks machine, and a Yule snack machine. Right, let's do that if we can. Oh, I've just seen the benches in the list. What a total number. I thought you had to unlock them. Patients should assume all fires are intentional, unless told otherwise. Right, we need to put some next to the pharmacy, and we're also going to need some at the GP's office and at reception as well. Oh, I'm not liking them there, but I can't really see where else to put them right now for that bit. Yeah, let's put a couple down the side here next to the GP's office. Oh, we've got to build another room, a staff room. Yeah, they're normally going there. Sit in the old seats. 
I think there used to be a was there a pool table in it at one point in the old game? I'm pretty sure there was. Right, at least people are sitting down now. Should be a little bit happier. What you do? Four by three. Stick what? Two or three sofas in here, maybe. Oh, our reputation's going up. Cool. Um. Oh, we're also going to put the seats here. What? Oh no, I don't want to stop editing. What other items could we put in? Armchairs, lockers, drinks machines. Yeah, let's stick a bin in. Uh, a plant for attractiveness. A picture of Jimmy. So you and... be ashamed of their condition. You know who you are. And the yeah, news we'll make that do for now. Conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. At least that'll keep the queues down. Whoa, is that our hospital? That doesn't sound good. Eh, uh, the janitor's restuck the machines and the toilets. Can we be Oh, we can make toilets. Right, we definitely go need them. Four by four. That should be more than enough, shouldn't it? What do you think? Three toilets? Should we put them on the other wall? Yeah, put them on that wall. Spin it around again. Click around the corner. There you go. Three of them, I think. Three. Oh, cool. We've killed another patient, which is always good. Helps our reputation. Yeah, we know all about the janitors. Oh, we unlock general diagnosis. Right. More cool machines to play with. Oh, there's nobody on reception. Should I add a second desk? Can I afford the wage bill, though? Hmm. There's people in the queue waiting to get served. I think I'll stick general diagnosis right next door to the toilets for now. <laughs> I hope it doesn't smell. There we go, into the room done. Uh, what does it need? A doctor or a nurse? Did it say? Unlock the ward. We need to cure two more patients. We'll stick a couple of benches outside the toilet area. That'll do for general diagnosis. Please clean up after yourself and others. Well, at least the receptionist is back at his desk now. Um, there's still a bit of a queue though, isn't there? Come on, we still need to kill two more patients. I want this ward. There we go, there's one. Oh, we pulled up in this hospital pretty quick there. <laughs> I'm wondering what should add to the hospital. Make it better. Um, a plants, they make it more attractive. Oh, so it's got like a little range on them. I can put these in the offices as well. Oh, I can't fit that one there. Yeah, we'll put it right next to the door. So you're happy when you're coming through. Um, where else can we put them? Lock. Get the entire room. Nearly gets the entire room, that one, doesn't it? Yeah, let's put them in the other rooms as well. There we go, finally cured our two patients. Now we can build the ward. Oh, how big should we make this? Pretty big, I think, because you're going to have a few beds in there. I think it's a nurse from the old game. I can't remember if it's going to change much. Desk, what is it next to changing thing? And some beds. Probably better than two or three, maybe. If it does get overcrowded, we'll just stick another three beds in there. Nurse to 
so we need high immuneness. Yeah, let's go cheapest for now. <laughs> I've got to keep an eye on the old budget. Is that nurse? I've hired it off to the staff room already. Hmm, maybe I should have spent a few more dollars on a better one. So we've got a couple of challenges now. Two GP officers, two doctors. And there's also the deluxe clinic. We just need to make some money for that one. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? Digging up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. No, oh, wait. The sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. Oh, my word, that hospital DJ. He's as bad as the real thing. On a side note, I hate gardening as well. <laughs> doctor needed in GP's office. Oh, that doctor's slacking. I think I'll hire another doctor because at some point we've got to build a second GP's room anyway. Oh, cool. The hospital level's increased. I'm not sure what that means, but it's obviously good. Right, what are we doing next? We're going to need some benches outside the ward, I think. Some people are getting angry just standing there. Oh, we've discovered a new illness. It's bed face. <laughs> oh, at last we've unlocked the deluxe clinic. Uh, oh, they want a bigger salary. Can we afford this? Ooh, it'll keep them happy, I suppose. Mm. Mm. I'm wondering where we're going to stick this deluxe clinic. Unless we move some of the other rooms around. It's not the biggest floor pattern to mess about with. Ooh, our hospital star's gone up. That's great. I'm not sure what that is either. Okay, kudosh. So that's what unlocks all the items. Right, we need more of that. Right, we're going to do challenges and objectives and that'll get us kudosh. And then we can unlock other things. What, energy drinks machine, 200 points. Whoa. We've got 60 at the moment. Shall I spend it? Acorn units. Ooh, I don't know. Or should I save it up? Oh, there's a guy with a light bulb for a head. Do you think that's a new illness? We might get a new machine to use. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to move all these things out of the way and we should be able to get a little room here. I think we should have enough room. Since I've moved all of them, right, what we're going to put there, we should put the door. Come on. Should we make this a new DP's office? I'm thinking we should. Awesome. Yeah, let's put the some the right way around this time. Life with probability. Oh, I can't put the door level with the other office. That's what I was thinking of doing. We'll have it there for now. I think at some point I might put another room on that side. Yeah, let's put some benches down. Have we got a doctor to use this room? I think I did hire another one, didn't I? Okay, let's move this desk. It is a slightly awkward position. We may have two desks at some point. Yeah, that'll do there for now. And um, do we have enough room to fit in this little gap here? It would be good if we could get in here. I don't know why it's making this do one square at a time. Yes, it is. Three by three, it's big enough. Whoa, that machine is pretty big. And the control thing, is that it? Right, we've managed to fit it in there. Fantastic. Put a couple of benches down, just so people got somewhere to sit, as per usual. Where are they at? Where's the benches gone? Oh, there it is. Should we put two down? Yeah. Ooh, light bulb guy is going in. Uh, should we hire another doctor, I'm thinking? Ooh, he looks a good one. Pretty expensive.
and a new illness bugwort discovered a rather disgusting skin condition. Fabulous, eh? Our next little challenge, we need to cure three people with the light bulb head thing. Oh, crap. Somebody just died? Oh, no, that's not good. Ooh, misery guts. Yes, it was. It's our first patient to die. It's always sad when that happens. I hope they paid the bill before they died. Should we get another janitor? We probably should just to keep the machines in work in order to keep everything nice and tidy. Ooh, cured another couple there. Nice. Oh, we're rattling through them now. I think this hospital's going pretty well now, guys. It's a bit of a well-oiled machine. Two GP officers, that's definitely helping speed everything up. We've now got 70 points. Is there anything really good that we should unlock? Hmm. Big bin. That would mean less rubbish on the floors. Purple bench. Is that better than a regular bench? I don't know. Telephone and a clock. Ooh. Yeah, let's do a clock. Patience. A reef. <laughs> That's a bit of a weird one. I went to a holistics. Uh, I'm thinking we'll do the telephone as well to see what they could do about my gravy allergy. They recommended a long stay at their spa and a bottle of rosemary extract. It cost me a month's wages, but I'm finally starting to feel the effects. There, they can now phone Still home, tell people radio. how ill they are. Put a couple of clocks down. Tell them how long they've been waiting for several hours and not getting seen by a doctor. Plants need water. From what I remember in Theme Hospital, you could have a doctor or a nurse in a specific room and they just stayed in that room. Because then you could have, when you had multiple buildings, you could have different staff rooms. It just stopped people wandering all around the place and not being in rooms when you need them. I'm hoping you can do in the, that in this version of the game as well. Hovercraft, just like is always done. Right, I put plenty of bins in, plenty of plants. Let's put some pictures in now. Hopefully, we'll get the rooms level up. Yearly review imminent. Ooh, yearly review. Is that bad or is that good? I don't know. Ooh, it must be like the Oscars for hospitals. Right, first award is Doctor of the Year. Who's going to win it? <laughs> yes, it was us. We get $5,000 and 5k points. Kudos points at it, not k points. Nurse of the Year, who's this? Oh, nice, we're two for two. Come on, can we make it a hat trick? Oh, come on, we will rob. Surely our Janet has cleaned the floors and the toilets brilliantly this year. Oh, we didn't get assistant of the year either. I'm not surprised with that one. The were in the staff room an awful lot. Get in the employer of the year. Oh, I'm so proud. That's me. Oh, the next one, no deaths. We didn't get this one. Somebody did die. I do remember this. Ah, the old foundation. Never mind. Most prestigious hospital. Come on. Let's get back on track here. 
Oh no. Patient's choice of wood. Surely they loved our hospital. Oh crap, they didn't. Well, we got three awards. We can't be too bad. Whoa, our QSP here. We're on 27 and Jumbo got 200. Whoa, we've got a lot of catching up to do this year. Come on, let's have a better year. Okay, what should we unlock next? We've got 20 points. Big bin. Hmm. Something to make the rooms nicer, I think. Maybe a poster. An eye test poster. That's only five points. Yeah, let's get that one. Let's see the one. 15 points. A food poster. A raw shack poster. I'm not sure what that is. Anybody know what that is, guys? Well, that looks good. Yeah, let's get that one as well. Oh, cool. We're getting up to level three room prestige now. I'm not sure what that is, but it sounds good to me. Megan Pass has sent in a very thorough quote for today's nice words of the day. Remember that you are strong and blessed, that to live is to learn, and that all bad things happen for a reason, while good ones come to those who wait. That's a lot of nice words, Megan. Do you think they'll give you free cheese if you listen to this radio? Because it is so cheesy. Yeah, we're just waiting on one more lighty-headed guy. We need to cure them. And then we'll be a one-star hospital. In general diagnosis. Ghosts? When a patient dies, sometimes a part of them remains. The most terrifying part, sadly. Oh, this can't be good. We need to call janitors? I thought it would have been Ghostbusters. Oh man, somebody wants a wage increase? Seriously? There is a light bulb guy in the hospital. You can see him there right next to the ward. He's coming in now. We just need to cure this guy. Then we can get to level one. I don't know if it's just me, the hospital's running so well there don't seem to be many patients. Am I just curing them too quickly? Yeah, we should stop that. Take our time, milk them through all the money we can. Doctor needed in GP's office. There we go, label guy, he's going into the room. We just need to cure him. Come on, hurry up. Oh, he's going to get his head back. <laughs> Look at that. This is sticking in you. Head on. Oh, that's cool. Yes, we've done it. Ten thousand credits and a hundred kudosh, and we've unlocked lower bullocks, and we've got a light-headed poster. Nice. Right guys, I think I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm definitely going to be playing more of this because it's just so damn fun to play. So please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next week for some more weird games. Bye guys.